We've got some pretty cool and at times some pretty unusual new weaponry for Battlefield 1 with each DLC release. Today's weapon unlock guide is going to focus on one of the new weapons on the cool but unusual side. With the release of the Apocalypse DLC, the Assault class has a new submachine gun called the RSC. I've been asked several times to do an unlock guide for this weapon, so we're going to go right into the details in this video and make sure to stick around to the end of the video because it seems many players are having trouble getting the vehicle damage requirement taken care of and at the end of the video I'll share my tips to help you not only get those pesky 300 damage points but I'm also going to share the best map for conquest and the best map for operations to attack vehicles on. In order to unlock the RSC, you must have the Apocalypse DLC, and it releases with two variants, both Factory and the Optical. To unlock the RSC Optical, you must first unlock the Factory variant. To unlock the RSC Factory, you need to secure 50, that's 5-0 kills, with the Assault class. Doesn't matter how you get the kills as long as you're playing as the Assault class. I highly recommend playing the game modes Team Deathmatch or Domination. In these smaller game modes, you can be sure the enemy are kept as close as possible. No matter which weapon you use for the Assault class, Close Quarters is where just about each one of them shine. In addition to being in close quarters, the respawn time on these game modes, Team Deathmatch and Dominations, is extremely quick, so you can be right back into the action as quick as possible. Now that you have the factory unlocked, what could be even better? That's right, an optical sight on that new weapon to better aim at enemy targets. To unlock the RSC optical, you must first secure again 5-0, that's 50 kills, with the RSC factory this time. Again, Team Deathmatch and Domination will be great modes to get those numbers on quickly. The RSC itself is a low ammunition, high damage, and very high recoil weapon. This means it is best in close distance and enemies can be dropped quite quickly within close to medium range. The more difficult task to complete is to secure 300 vehicle damage using explosives in one single round. I tried several game modes, tactics, weapons, and damage versus different vehicles, and I found one map for those of you who like conquest and one map for those of you who like operations that are the easiest maps to secure the damage on quickly. The map for conquest, as you can see in the background, is Amiens. From a tactical perspective, Amiens has a lot of cover for attacking vehicles. In addition, vehicles due to the linear street layout out, have a predictability not seen in wide open maps. From the loadout screen before you spawn in, make a quick visual scan of the map and if you see enemy vehicles spawn on teammates or capture points as close to those vehicles as possible. In addition, I highly recommend using the assault class to damage the vehicles because the assault class can be equipped with not only the anti-tank grenades along with light anti-tank grenades and either the landmine or dynamite or the anti-tank rocket gun, you got a bunch of different explosive options to choose from. Play Conquest on this map and you will find Charlie Flag as well as the outskirts of each of the team's uncaps to be great locations to expect vehicle travel. Two things I've mentioned in prior unlock videos are placing landmines in the uncap zone before enemy vehicles spawn in and destroying mortars which count as vehicles. It appears DICE has now made it more difficult to place mines in close proximity. This means the insta-kills had prior by placing mines in the uncap zone isn't going to happen anymore. You can, however, still place a mine there and prepare here to follow up with thrown anti-tank grenades or different grenades you have at the unlucky vehicle. Keep in mind you do not have to completely destroy the enemy vehicles, just get explosive damage worth a total of 300 points. As for the enemy mortars, they still do count as vehicles. I don't know how they overlook this one. Anytime you see them, be sure to toss an explosive. In my case here, blowing up a mortar netted me enough points to unlock the RSC optical. Don't focus on staying alive for this requirement. If you have to take a suicide run to get close enough to damage a vehicle, do it. Worry about that great KD later. Last but not least, if you place a landmine next to a tank and it isn't close enough to ignite, shoot the landmine with your weapon to get the explosion and subsequent vehicle damage. As for the operations map, the operation you want to play this on, the map is Soy Zones. This is one operation that has a ton of tanks on the attacking side and plenty of vehicles to damage. If you join around, make sure you are on the defending team and fire away to get the damage points fast. I recommend using the anti-tank rocket on this one because there's a lot of land here, a lot of open space, and a lot of vehicles that you can target. I hope these tips help you unlock the RSC factory and the RSC optical as fast as possible. Please hit that like button. And if you enjoy more videos like this and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new and awesome content I have for you guys. Get your boy Rump Spanker, and until next time, I'm out of here.